Scoops, tonight we got a lot to get into, okay? We got cake thieves, rehab patients, side chick cab confessions, and so much more. Let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It's Hershey Sunday, and I'm back with the scoop. So I got this article from the Neighborhood Talk. Actually, quite a few of our topics tonight are from the Neighborhood Talk and from the Shade Room. This one really got me. So this woman brought her grandchild to this, you know, play area, Chuck E. Cheese type area, this second place in Jacksonville, Florida. It's always Floridians. I don't know why. Anyway... She comes to discover her grandbaby's cake done been ate into. Let's get into it. Stole my baby birthday cake. So I see the girl walking with a cake. And it's my fucking baby birthday cake. So I go to the lady and I say, excuse me, my cake. And then had the nerve to take my baby name off her cake. Took my baby name off her cake. Just ate, uh, that, that, that probably supposed to be for her with y'all thieving broke ass. I can't stand. Stole my baby birthday cake. All these people right here, look at them. I guess they're just fat, just nasty. They try to steal my baby birthday cake like it wasn't sentimental. I told you I was gonna let y'all see them. Let y'all see, I can't believe it. You just can't, I didn't know people stole birthday cake. And they don't even say apologize, they don't say nothing, they just stole somebody's birthday cake. It's looking nasty, broken, funky. So. You know what, it's the audacity for me. Sometimes fat shaming is needed. Yep, my fat butt did say that fat shaming is needed. How do you feel comfortable at your big age and your biggest size to take somebody's grandbaby? Okay, she probably ain't nothing but five years old. Okay, um, and still not only steal the cake, but cut the name out of the cake as you was eating it. For some reason, this sounds familiar. Hey! Somebody needs to take a big hunk out of my cake. <laughs> Look at that. I ain't had no cake. Mind your damn business. As a big woman, I'm appalled and I'm ashamed. Why would you do that to a child? You already coming up here with the audacity, okay, to be wearing some Nike shorts and a tank top. You look like you're rolling on dubs, okay? It looks like 2005, okay? You look like some spinning rims gonna come out of nowhere off your bike. And you got the nerve to eat somebody else's cake. I feel like that's trifling. And had she had a bigger crew, she should have fought you. I would have fought you. I probably would have lost because you seem like a mighty opponent. Okay, you definitely seem like you say fee fi fo fum But, like, why would you do that? It's the principle for me. I'm so sorry, baby. I hope that this year brings you nothing but happiness, prosperity, and, and a small bike. Okay, moving on. Now, you can't see the man, although uh, the Neighborhood Talk had the video. I'm not going to show it because you know how sometimes different apps get a little finicky. But sensitive content, two strippers um, were robbed at gunpoint for $10,000 during the BET Awards weekend. Now, the BET Awards weekend have been getting dragged up and down. It's being called ghetto. It's being called everything but a child of God, okay? Um, they're hoping that Tyler Perry uh, can come, you know, clean up shop and, and you know, fix it. You know, Iyanla fix my life for the BET Awards. But if you look at the video, go to the neighborhoodtalk.com. These men had these two women by gunpoint, stole the money, and then in the comment section, I saw that they were blaming the girl. You can't see her. It's another dancer, but she was in green. They were blaming her, saying that she might have been part of it, when she looked like she was just afraid and caught off guard, as I would be if I'm being stuck up. Ladies, gentlemen, um, workers, however, entertainers, have your own security. Please have your own security, because these people... Specifically, these ninjas will tip you, tip drill you with the rent money, with the child support money, with the baby's formula milk money, and then plot and scheme to get the money back by, by, by knocking you upside the washer and dryer and, and stealing from me. It wouldn't surprise me if the two ninjas were the one being entertained and throwing the dollars at the strippers. You just got to be careful. I'm so sorry that this happened to y'all, but y'all going to need security. You can't trust folks. You just can't. Now, Pete Davidson unchecked himself into rehab after suffering mental health battle with borderline personality disorder and PTSD. I'm going to be honest. After that last report of him, you know, doing like 80 or 90 in a residential area, and it was like 11 p.m., and he crashed into that house, I knew something was going on. 
Um, I hope that he gets the help that he needs. Let's get a little bit deeper into it. Hold on, let me pull up the other slide. Now, y'all can pause to read, but per the neighborhood talk, uh, Davidson reportedly checks himself into the rehab uh, to work on his issues and um his girlfriend chase described him as bettering himself uh oh and he had two incidents so um looks like that he was uh, charged for reckless driving we knew about that one um after crashing his crashing his mercedes benz uh, in a Beverly Hills home, which I'm pretty sure they got a cute coin from that. And another incident, he made headlines after he uh, could be heard on a recording line leaving a seemingly passive-aggressive message to animal treatment company um, PETA over misunderstanding about a dog. I I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't hear anything about that one. Um, but it looks like he's you know going through some things and he's getting the help that he needs. Uh, big ups to him. I hope that you get the help that you really need, sir. Moving on. I just decided to re-big my back because what's one more, okay? <laughs> it's already a love triangle between these three. What's one more? So, Sade, who is known to be the side chick mistress, mother of Neo's two most recent children, uh, had something to say to Crystal, okay? Uh, publicly. She wanted us to know that she talked to Crystal. She's apologized. And um, Crystal is such a beautiful woman, forgiving. Y'all can pause to read. Let me go through this so y'all can pause to read because it's a lot. Hold on. All right, that was a lot. So, and... <laughs> As a person who's been through this, right? The blame will always be on the person that is married, right? The person, in my opinion, the married person, the person who took the vows, gets the majority of the blame. But I think a person who is also taking part in a adulterous situationship, sneaky link, you know... You're my little secret, aka Xscape. Although I love the song, okay. Um, you know, fooling around. The side chicks are awfully bold. I've met some very bold side chicks in my life, okay. No, quite a few, and I just don't understand where the boldness is coming from. Because she's in one breath saying that she's already apologized to Crystal, and she's such a beautiful, forgiving woman. Um. I don't, how are you apologizing and you didn't have his second child? You knew he was married the first time. You had a baby. Raw sex, hitting them skins, shooting up the club, okay? Glass and bottles everywhere. Crystal takes him back. He's slipping and sliding in your DMs again, I'm sure. Probably never stopped. And then you have a second baby. And then the apology comes. And this isn't to take the heat off of him because it's essentially his fault. Okay. Um, if you made the vow, you take the brunt of the responsibility. But it's just the audacity of, you know, back in the day, you remember when the good old days, at least from what I can remember, you didn't know who the side chick was until the fume. You, you knew that Papa was a rolling stone, but you couldn't confirm it. And to the fume. Like she at least had enough decorum. To wait until after he done died. Okay. After Ezra done died. To come up there with the side children that he had with her. And then y'all can all be a family and grieve together. You remember the good old days? Whatever happened to that? I feel like being a side person. I'm not even going to say a side chick. Because there are plenty of side dudes too. Okay. I think being a little. You know a piece of coleslaw. Y'all really, I mean, people do like coleslaw. Ain't gonna never stop eating coleslaw. But y'all done got beside yourselves thinking that you the big piece of chicken. You decide. The whole point is, is for you to be quiet. Right? I thought that that's what it was. Maybe not. Things have changed. <laughs> but it's just the audacity. I would be so ashamed if I done bored two children from a man who I knew was married. He's not ashamed. She's not ashamed. I'm just. And then let's not forget. This is the same person. Who told his original. Well lady. I don't think him and Magneta was married. They were never married. 
Yeah, that was the gag. He never married her. She got her tubes tied because he didn't want any more children. He ends up having said more children. I think he got like four or five more children outside of he and Manietta's kids. Y'all got to stop listening to these ninjas. Like, I don't... <laughs> we all get lost in the sauce. I get it. Okay? It, mistakes happen. People don't... Things do happen. But certain things shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? I feel like... When you start messing with married people... And when you're a married person that messes outside of your... Your relationship... Whatever you get is what you get. I don't... You, you ain't gonna never see no hair follicles again, yo. Like, your scalp is gonna forever be ashy. Because you decided to cheat. But you lose them how you get them. <laughs> and the replacement may be closer than you think. Moving on. Alright, in some lighter news. Uh, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend welcomes their fourth child via surrogate. The baby boy name is Ren. Uh, this comes after his big sister, Etsy, or ST. I want to say her name is ST. Uh, she was born in January via surrogate also. Uh, we all know that they had lost a child and um, they were afraid that they weren't able to have any more children. But they were able to have these two via surrogate. So, looks like uh, babies are happy and healthy. Congratulations goes to them. Moving on. All right, so presumed human remains have been found in the debris of the Ocean Gate Titan submersible. Um, they are saying that more than likely these are the remains of the five missing uh, men who went on this submersible. And it uh, looks like it imploded, but they are going to still have to get it tested by medical authorities to confirm. So that is the update on that. It, you know, every time I think about it, it's just, you know... It's crazy. It's really crazy. Um, the memes have been memeing. I've seen probably a thousand of them. So, <laughs> you know, people, we've been talking about it for like two or three weeks. But yeah, it looks like the human remains have been found. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about that. Condolences to the family and close friends. But this was a ridiculous mission. It really was. All right, y'all. That's all I got for today. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in and participating, commenting, sharing all of the things. Don't forget to like, share, follow, and comment for more content. And tap that subscribe button so you can stay in the loop with The Scoop, okay? I also have a podcast, The Scoop with Hershey Sunday Podcast. Check me out. If you have an article you want me to talk about or a headline, hot topic, or you have a movie or music you want me to review, let me know. I'm more than happy to do it, okay? Don't forget to like, share, follow, and comment for more content. As always, I'm Hershey Sunday, and I'm back with the scoop. Peace.